you know, uh, this, this, this banana is called the gonja. Mm -hmm. um, it is, uh, um, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is sweet when it's, when ripe. Yeah, sweet, oh. Yes, it's sweet, sweet and ripe. And uh, uh, it is used commonly as a, a luxury kind of uh, food for, to, when, when, during, a, in the past, it was being fried by, by wives for their husbands. Like a you dessert. You know, as an expression of, of, of love, it was really? a very special mm -hmm. Kind of thing. Normally, uh, girls, when the, as tall girls become fat as they grow up, when you have three things, and this is my experience, at least in the African environment, when a, 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 a girl who is tall, and who is tall, is likely to become fat when she has the three things. When she, um, she becomes, when she gets children, 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 mm -hmm. the age you know when as she grows up gets children, and if her life becomes better than it was you know in the uh, in the earlier years, for instance, she gets a good marriage, or she gets a good job and she has, she has money, she is dependent. Uh, when 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 the age so the advances in the age it's, it's most likely they become big and big so here I have seen for instance my wife here my late wife she was very thin and she remained thin for some time time but as she went on having children having children having children and as our life became a bit better and more styled and with age, by the time she died, she was a far too woman, a far old woman. And people but she had a lot of children also. <laughs> so, you know, that, you know, having children and having peace and age combined create fat fresh. woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm not organized. Uh, not I'm, I'm not systematically. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, this one uh, is a, a collection of my of my ideas. There is a story about my clan, clan, and then ideas that I have I have developed all, all the time since the 1950s. You know. Oh, these are ideas, my philosophies, my ideas, my theories about... Uh, I, uh, when I think of something, I sit down and argue, argue it as if I am with somebody else, try to find, to, you know, to, to get, to, to create ideas, and I give more opinion and so on, and as if I'm going to publish it. Mm -hmm. Then I keep, I have been keeping these articles for a long time, since 1950s. Whoa. So time came when I thought, uh, as I don't have the money, I cannot, I cannot get my books published. I start buying, I, buy, I start binding all these in these volumes. I have several of the volumes like this. <laughs> yes, I have. Here I'm discussing uh, marriage, mm -hmm. uh, what we call Lego marriage. I'm discussing uh, uh, what, the, what we call marriage vows versus a will. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am saying in the church, Man and the woman and man make their will public by by declaring ownership of each other, don't they? And say, I give to thee all that I have. And they, they do this when hundreds of people are witnessing. Now, later on, 
me, I die. And then the question of my wealth becomes a, 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 a serious problem. Me, I'm saying, why should it be a problem? Because I made my will, well, we made our we will to each other in the presence of people in the church. And we gave to each other whatever I, we owned to each other who, who remains when the other is gone. And so, you know, in Africa today, every, every, many, many people believe that uh, culture is, uh, is static, you know, and uh, what, what your parents did, you have to do it, and uh, this and that. But I was telling my children that uh, um, every, every home, every person, when you grow up, don't take things for granted. Don't just copy what you saw without uh, finding out why this was being done, like why our father, grandfather did it, you know, so on. Uh, you, you, that is why I sent you, uh, we go to school to learn uh, how things, uh, how the world moves. Where did it come? Where did we come from? Where are we? And what is pre 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 prevailing? You know what is what is coming as a result of what is happening today. So I, was, I, I gave them uh, uh, this lecture, saying, "Nobody should st stop you becoming innovative in your family." We must not do things the way you have seen it, have seen, you've seen them happening in other families, you know, this and that. Now here, I am saying, I'm asking Om Ganda Darayarua. Now, the, this, I'm say, I, I, the, po, the, po, the topic I'm discussing here is, who is a typical Om Ganda? Some people be, uh, believe that being a, a a typical, a typical tribesman of being a typical Muganda is a talent, which I think is, is silly. Uh, being, being a Muganda is just uh, something that uh, just happened. It does not give me any, any, any intellectual what, uh, superiority to, to somebody else. It just happened I was born here and uh, I'm in Uganda. And politically, being in Uganda isn't the first thing in, in, in Uganda now because the, being in Uganda does not give you citizenship. It is the constitution of Uganda which gives you citizenship. And this constitution, when you, citizenship isn't tribal, it isn't tribal, it is just a national. Um, prestigious thing and uh, um, what I'm discussing here is said I'm talking to my fellow Baganda that we should not be we should not have that uh, arrogance that because, because I am Uganda I am superior or I am this and that no anyone who lives in Uganda today if he decided to live in the style, in the traditional style of the Baganda, all, all of us and is uh, properly integ integrated in our traditional systems and is loyal to, uh, to our king, that is already Muganda enough. See, this is what I'm discussing here. I've discussed all these things and uh, I could have small pamphlets, you know, published if I had the the money, but since I don't have it, I have bound all these ideas. Perhaps my grandfather, my grandchildren, or some people in the future. Should I explain? Mm -hmm. It's a reference book from 1984 for all the important people in the world. So heads of state and um, uh, big businessmen and people who matter in the. Uh, uh, in building of societies and on page 
xong là Yeah. Uh, yes, I, uh, yes, 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 international photographers and so on with their his professional histories. Now I say, why am I part of this? <laughs> why not? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so humbled by all this. But uh, I said, I don't know how I even came to collect or to preserve all these, these things. As if I knew somebody would want they be interest, become interested in them.